Since August 4th, India's daily coronavirus case count has been the highest in the world. India's COVID-19 tally had crossed 20 lakh mark on August 7th and the 30 lakh mark on August 23rd. Here's a report. New Delhi's trajectory of daily cases of the coronavirus disease on Friday became the highest ever recorded by any country, which means that the outbreak in the country currently is worse than it was at the peak in the United States, the worst hit nation in the world. At an average, 69,558 new cases were reported in India every day over the past week, placing it above the seven-day daily case peak recorded in the U.S. when the number touched 69,330 for the week ending July 25. The U.S. trajectory was the worst in the world in the eight months since the coronavirus disease surfaced in December 2019. On Friday, India reported 76,139 new cases of COVID-19, taking the total number of cases in the country to 34,58,186. To be sure, the U.S. has over 6 million confirmed infections, more than 1.8 times dose in India, which is unlikely to overtake America by any time soon. Brazil, which is the country with the second highest number of total cases, has around 3,50,000 more cases than India. The South American nations, however, has been adding around 30,000 fewer cases than India every day recently, so the latter has been closing the gap fast. New cases in India have been rising at an alarming rate and have shown no sign of a let up. India's doubling rate, the rate at which the total cases in the country would double, was 32 days on the Friday against 96 days in the U.S. and 68 in Brazil. However, with 62,703 total deaths as of Friday, India's case fatality rate, the proportions of the death among the confirmed cases, is 1.8%, which is not only much better than the global average of 3.4%, but also better than the US 3.1% and Brazil 3.2%. The U.S. became the worst hit nation in the world on the back of the two separate massive case spikes. The first spike, which was milder, peaked towards early April and was centered in the country's northeast with the states such as New York, Massachusetts and Pennsylvania reporting high cases. Towards the end of June, a second spike started with new epicenters such as California, Texas and Florida, pushing new cases to record high again. In this phase, the U.S. set the global record for the highest cases in a single day on July 24 when it reported 78,586 infections, the country's seven-day average peak a day later on July 25. Since then, this wave of infections have also waned and the country is currently reporting around 42,000 new cases every day. In Brazil, the trajectory has been the most erratic of these three. It has seen smaller waves of infection that have dropped thrice in mid-June, mid-July and mid-August. However, cases appear to have hit a plateau in the past two weeks, averaging around 37,000 new cases every day against over 46,000 in the last week of July. Unlike the other two nations where the new case trend lines are uneven, the case lot in India has grown gradually and has not had any abrupt spike. But this does not necessarily translate to good news because it also means that the trajectory in India has never hit a plateau. With almost all states except Delhi reporting record high cases over the past few weeks, this trajectory has not yet exhibited any signs of slowing down. Bureau Report.